right, hello. Today I want to show you a new tool that I've added to Axiom, the script brush. This brush allows you to use a Lua script uh, in order to modify blocks in the Minecraft world uh, to help with uh, building. So uh, there are a number of presets for the script brush that come uh, by default with the mod. So I'm just going to go through them. Uh, quickly, so the very first one is clear foliage, uh, and what this uh, script will do is it will uh, remove any block that is considered foliage, so any non-solid block, any logs, leaves, etc. And you can see the exact code that it's using to do that over here. Uh, of course, you can modify this script however you want. Um, you know, say we wanted to not remove logs, we can remove this bit of code here and now uh, logs are no longer being removed. Uh, this is true of all of these scripts. You can modify them to your heart's content. You can write your own scripts, uh, whatever you want. Uh, so next up is the flowers script, which looks something like this. And what this will do is it will generate a patch of flowers uh, similar to how vanilla does it. So by default, it's using a poppy here, like so. Uh, there are various sliders that you can control. Uh, and you can see that these uh, arguments here are defined in the script, um, but even though they're defined in the script, you still get a slider out here, uh, which can just help with configuring, especially if you're not a technical user and you don't want to modify the code. Um, typically, there'll be a uh, slider for you. So for example, we can increase the number of tries here um, on this script, uh, which is going to have a lot more flowers. Uh, we can increase the spread, which is going to spread them further or we can change uh, the block to something else entirely. And we can also use double tall blocks like roses, like so. Uh, all right, the next script here is going to be the grass script. And this script uh, simply adds grass and tall grass, like so. Now I have a resource pack on, let me turn this off. And yeah, there you go. Uh, you can, of course, uh, change the blocks here. So if we wanted this to be, for example, seagrass instead, uh, we could do seagrass and tall seagrass, um, and then we're painting with seagrass, like so. Uh, you can also change the grassiness. So a grassiness of uh, one will have a lot of grass, and a very low grassiness will have very little. Uh, next up, there is the heart. Uh, this is an example of a once script. So instead of being a brush, um, you simply click once and it will execute it. Uh, this script here uh, is simply the mathematical formula for a heart, which looks like so. Obviously, uh, not super useful, but it's uh, an interesting uh, little demo there. You can obviously modify it to produce whatever shape that you want. Uh, next up, we have the kelp brush. Uh, so let me just uh, make it so we can see underwater here. And this kelp brush, understandably, allows us to paint kelp. We can control the height and so on. Uh, then we have the leafy bushes brush, uh, which generates bushes that look something like this. Uh, we can change the block. Uh, so if we want to use a different type of leaf, for example, cherry leaves, we can do so. If you want to increase, if you want to decrease the size, so it's like this, uh, or increase the size, you can do so. And uh, next up, we have the Terrain Desert preset, which basically takes uh, terrain and makes it look like desert, uh, which is a number of layers of sand followed by sandstone on the bottom. Then there's the Terrain Plains preset, which is uh, a layer of grass on the top, then dirt, then stone underneath. Of course, you can adjust the blocks. And lastly, we have a vine preset here, which just paints vines on the side of whatever it is that you uh, select here, like so. And there you go. Uh, obviously, these are only the default scripts that are available. If you are uh, so inclined and you know how to program or you know how to ask um, ChatGPT, you can uh, produce your own scripts to uh, achieve a lot of things. So that was the... Script Rush, I hope you found this interesting and see ya.